Hello, my name is Ruby again. I'm going to be talking about the history of psychology. Um, so, let's get started. The history of psychology. The psychology, the study of behavior and the mind. Behavior, the natural process subject to natural laws refers to the observable actions of a person or an animal. Brain, the command center of the central nervous system. Mind refers to the sensation, memories, motives, emotions, thoughts, and other subjective phenomena particular to the individual and animal that are not readily observed. Dualism refers to the division of the world and to all things into two parts, the body and the spirit. There's much debate about the mind and the brain. Um, René Descartes, he believed that uh, the physical world is not under divine influence, but rather follows observable behavior and rules. And he, he believed that the mind and the body interact and that the mind um, controls the body and the body provides with sensory input. Um, this all takes place in the phenol gland. John Locke, he extended Descartes' application of natural laws to all things. He believed that even the mind under control of such laws. He proposed that the humans are born knowing nothing, see that just the blank state to describe the mind's child. He acknowledged that all the all things we all things are learned and not innate. He emphasized this nurture over nature as a greater influence as development. Empiricism. This is Locke's school of thought and acquisition of truth through observable inexperience. Um, Thomas Hobbes believed that the idea of a soul or spirit or even the mind is meaningless. His philosophy is known as materialism, which is the belief that the only things that exist are matter and energy. He stresses the role played by nature, nurture versus nature. Charles Darwin, he published The Origin of Species um, in his book proposed Natural Selection, um, which is said that all creatures are involved into the present by the long period of time. Evolutionary theory, uh, providing a way to explain the differences between species and justifying the use of animals as a mean to study the roots of human behavior. The William Wood, the founder of science and of psychology, he opened the laboratory to study consciousness. Edward Titchener was a student in Wood's laboratory and was the first to bring the science of psychology into the United States. Structuralism. Looking for patterns of thought by interviews with subjects describing his or her um, conscious experience. Introspection is the interview process. William James, an American psychologist who argued that what is important is the function of the mind, such as how to solve a, a complex problem, and also to understand how the mind fulfills its purpose. Functionalism is a function oriented of understanding how the mind fulfills its purpose. We're going we're gonna to talk about the approaches now. So, biological psychology. The field of psychology that seeks to understand the interaction between autonomy, physiology, and behavior. Use biological experimentations to psychological problems. They use the CAT scan, the EEGs, the MRIs, and PET scans. Um, behavioral psychology. The study of observable things. Behavior. Mind and the mental are important to behaviors because they're not observable. Classical condition by Ivan Pavlov, the basic form of learning, which is the which a behavior becomes elicited by formally neutral stimulus. Um, cognitive psychology, an approach rooted in the idea to understand that people's behavior, we must find and understand how they construe their environment, how they think. Humanistic approach. Studying the rules of consciousness, free will, awareness of human condition. Abraham Maslow proposed the idea of self-actualization, the need of individuals to reach the full potential in a creative way. Self-actualization means accepting yourself and your nature while knowing your limits and your strengths. Psychonalic theory is a resolution of subconscious conflicts through uncovering information that has been repressed or buried in subconscious. Sigmund Freud was concerned with individuals and their mental problems. He drew the distinction between the conscious mind and mental states that we are already aware of and the subconscious mind, those mental processes that we do not normally have access but still influence, are still influence our behavior in some way. Um, so see, cultural psychology, 
at least that the environment of a person lives is a, has a great deal to do with the person's, how the person behaves and how others perceive that behavior. Evolutionary. How adaptive behavior is to our survival. Um, so that is it for history, uh, sorry, for the history part of psychology. Um, so the next clip we're going to have, it's going to be about the methods and approaches. So hope to see you there.